Jake. What a play from Jake Oliver. And Madison Troy! Five games! 60. That's in play down the third baseline. Peter makes the great play from Peter McNeil. Justice already took advantage of that. What a play over at third. He's heading home. Oh, he's and out. He's gonna be out. Jordan Rice takes out Trey Clugston. <laughs> Flips it over to first and still gets Alex Harden. Cross, get out, ball later. Two. And he might have just missed it. Caught and run from Jordan Wright. In play, that's a fair ball to Jake. What a play from Jake Oliver! And Madison Troy! Five games! 60. That's in play down the third baseline. Peter makes the great play from Peter McNeil. took advantage of that. What a play over at third. He's heading home. Oh, he's, he's out. He's gonna be out. out. Jordan Rice <laughs> takes out Trey Clugston. <laughs>
in play down the third base line. Peter makes the great play from Peter McNeil. Justice oh. already took advantage of that. What a play over at third. He's heading home. Oh, he's out. He's going to be out. George Rice heads out. Trey Clinton. Right. In play, that's a fair ball to Jake Hall. What a play from Jake Hall. And that is his cross! Yes, I That's in play down the third base line. Peter makes the great play from Peter McNeil. Into that. What a play over at third. That's oh. in play, and he might have just missed it. Caught and run from Jordan Wright. Come on, get out, ball later! And that ball is out of here, walk off home run! Oh, top of the out is where it's coming home. Oh, oh, oh. And that's a shot! That oh, he's heading home, oh, he's out! He's out! He's out. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to AWA regular season today. We have an interesting matchup here. The 8-1 Pacific Pouch are taking on the 2-7 Western Wolfpack. But the big story here today is the Western Wolfpack have a full roster and will look to come back after getting a perfect game thrown against them last week. I'm Jack Playhouse, joined by Peter McNeil here on Color, here on this beautiful Memorial Day. Uh, great weather. Excited to be here. It's a good day. Two good teams. It's going to be a fun one. We're going to take a look at the starting lineups for both teams here. The Western Wolfpack, headed by Captain Alex Harden. He has elected to not pitch in game one. And honestly, going up against DJ Oliver the first game, you know, if you don't, if you don't think you can beat DJ Oliver game one, a smart choice there from Alex Harden. Thomas Playhouse at first base. They missed his power. He's only pitched, played in five of nine games this year. Jace Pratt will be here. He'll be at second base after he pitches in game one. And then Tommy McMahon, uh, the call up here today, first game uh, this year 
at third base. Looking at the 8-1 Pacific Pilots, this is the most dangerous lineup in the AWA this year. They've only lost one game, and it was a, a, a game they easily could have won. It was all on a call there. But looking at this, they're only going to go with four people today. Story today is Brad McGinnis, the typical game two starter, will not be here. But DJ Oliver is back. We thought that was going to affect their chances last week, but DJ Oliver, without them, they still swept their opponents. Mark Campanero will be at third base. Keaton McKay, second baseman, the vacuum. And first base, Josh Campanero will round it out. The surprise this year has been Josh Campanero, that, that kind of electric. He's leading the team with home and home runs, RBIs, and average at the back of that pilots lineup. And you can see why they're 8-1 because of him. Yeah, yeah, no, he's done a really good job this year of, uh, you know, getting those clutch hits for the pilots. And it's definitely the reason why they're doing so well. About ready to start. First pitch here, DJ Oliver will lead it off. DJ Oliver missed last week on vacation. There. And we are ready to start here. First pitch, Jace Pratt on the mound. Nice pitch right there from Jace Pratt. A one. Quick 0-2, and we see Jace Pratt here early. Going right at the zone, not towards the top of the speed limit. Nasty pitch right there. That's a quick one, two, three from Jace there. I saw Jace early here today working on his pitches in the, the Wolf Pack at 2 and 7. Really need that game two starter to pick it up. Mark Campanero steps in. And that ball is hit softly over the head of Tommy. Mark's turning two. They throw to second. And we'll look at the replay. Call on the field is safe. The, he, he tagged under the base, but we'll look at the replay. Going to the booth. And he will be safe at second base. And that's a leadoff double there for Mark Campanero. Tommy had a chance at it there, but that little bit of a on the hold there with the ball cost the Wolfpack the out there. Yeah. Keaton McKay will step in. You see right here, Jace is throwing pretty slow here, but so far it really hasn't resulted in any hard contact. Yeah, I mean, if you can throw balls in the zone, let the hitters make the mistakes, that might be the strategy it's going for. This is a very stingy Pilots team. They're not going to swing at any bad pitches. The story so far this year for the Pilots has been Keaton's defensive ability. Yeah, I know in his last game he robbed Jordan Rice of quite a few hits, so... Just slow, and Keaton McKay gets on base. Very similar situation. We see Keaton making good plays and getting on base whenever he can. And that'll set it up for Josh Campanero, brother of Mark Campanero here. Leads the league in, or the team in average and RBIs as well. See right there, Jay steps outside with that screwball. Nasty pitch right there. Top of the zone, one and one. And when J Jace Pratt has ran into problems, it's been based on his ability to find the zone. Some, some opposing batters are laying off some of his pitches, but right here you see Josh swinging there. That'll be full count now. Got him, strike three, and that is a big strikeout for Jace Pratt. Two outs in the inning. Jace Pratt was taken in the first round of the 2023 amateur draft. Getting some good innings here. Fastball inside gets DJ to swing. A 
nasty drop right there, one and or zero oh and two. You see Jace kind of picking up his velo here later in the inning. Does not go. Very close to swinging. And that's a hard hit ball, and Tommy McMahon misjudges it a bit. And Mark's coming home, and that's out of play, and two runs will score on the overthrow. Let's go, DJ, our boy, our boy. Tommy McMahon had a chance at making the play there, but unfortunately goes under his arms, and he just throws it out of play, and the pilots will take it on the air from Tommy McMahon. That's Tommy McMahon's first time touching the ball. If you're Jace Pratt, not happy. You need all the help you can get. At least the, the positive there for Jace is that will be an unearned run. Just low. Two and one. It's a close an angle there of Mark Campanero. He's wearing the mic today. Bit high. Three and one count now. And that's a good hit there from Mark and Tommy goes by him again and the run will score. See how they score that, but a ball that Tommy could have stopped and at least prevented the run from scoring, but unfortunately gets past him. Three nothing to score now. Keaton will step in now. And that's just kind of how it goes. If making your debut, if the ball seems to find you. Two oh. Rio. That'll be a four pitch walk to Keaton McKay. They're afraid of him. They're pitch to him. They pitch to you? No. <laughs> we have runners on first and second now for Josh Campanero, who struck out in his first at bat. Another RBI chance for the RBI leader on the pilots. Just high with the screwball. Want to know? Just low, 2-0. That's a nice pitch right there. Three and one count now to Josh Campanero. See what they do here. We'll see if Josh hasn't taken a swing here in this at bat yet. And that, not as close as he wanted that to be. And the bases are now loaded. And if you're Jace, you know, you gotta, gotta wonder what you're thinking there. You had two opportunities to get out of it. Your defense couldn't pick it up. Tough situation to be in. Yeah, not a great one, but also, you know, not the worst thing when you got a base open against Josh. Any base. We got DJ stepping in. Does go there, strike one. And that's in play to Jace, knocks it down and throws home for the out. And that's a great play from Jace. To end the inning there, limit the damage three to nothing as we head to the bottom of the first. Pilots up three to nothing. DJ Oliver back on the mound. 
widely regarded as one of the best pitchers in the AWA. If it wasn't for Evan Clugston's miraculous performance last week, DJ Oliver's would be the best pitcher in the league stats-wise. Got the second lowest whip this year and a 1.42 ERA. Tough for the Western Wolfpack to to face DJ Oliver one week after they face Evan Clugston. Yeah, that's a tough back-to-back -back stretch right there, but I think the Wolfpack are capable, and they'll be able to attack him a bit today too. Tommy McMahon will lead it off for the Wolfpack. And this is his first at-bat this year. That was a good hack right there. That was a good pitch to swing at. See if Tommy can help himself out after making a couple of those defensive mistakes one and one. Two and one count now. Just in front of that for Tommy, two and two count. Looks at strike three, and that'll be the first out of the inning. And that's tough. Just in front of a couple of those. Yeah, maybe try, still trying to get his timing back after coming back up. Thomas Blayhouse will step in. Not the start of the season he envisioned, but not terrible. <laughs> Doesn't like that comment there. And DJ Oliver is smart enough to give him an inside pitch on the first throw. There's some batters you want to pitch around, and Thomas is definitely one of them. You can just tell that the velo is slightly up. He's pitching way around him here, too. Yeah. <laughs> in the other batter's box. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you <laughs> and that ball is absolutely destroyed. That's why you try to pitch around Thomas Blayhouse first at bat of the game. Takes him deep. The Wolfpack get one run. Yeah, just a mistake right over the middle of the plate. Thomas just punishes that ball. Thomas Blayhouse puts on the Digger King hat that barely fits him. It's tight, ladies and gentlemen. But a much needed run, and against DJ Oliver, every run counts. Alex Harden steps in, knocks it down, Mark throws across, and he gets him at first. Alex was a little slow out of the box there. But unfortunately, Mark makes the play. Not a play that's a gimme in the AWA by no means. It's tough to do, throw across the diamond like that with these balls that go everywhere, so. Good play by Mark. Inside there, ball one. Two and oh. Swing in there. Inside pitch there. Hit the PVC pipe from DJ. And that is... Just fouled back, evens the count, two and two. Does not go, full count. DJ, DJ's got his three pitches, slider, riser, sinker. And so far it looks like he's primarily throwing sliders. And that's a hard hit ball to Mark, steps on first base for the out. Josh. Josh, sorry. Campaneros. Getting ready to start the top of the second inning. Mark Campanero will lead it off facing Jace. Jace didn't pitch poorly in the first inning, but by no means could have been worse. Fortunately, his defense did not pick him up. Yeah, it's always tough when you're pitching well and your, your defense just isn't there for you, you know. Makes a bad day worse. Bit high there from Jace Pratt. Jace, one of those guys that will slowly improve over the year when it comes to pitching. Oh, a nasty knuckleball right there. Got Mark all kinds of confused. That was gross. <laughs> Bit high. 
two and one. It's nice to see kind of on the, we got the camera. Oh, that ball is absolutely destroyed. He hung a screw ball and Mark Campanera will hit his fifth home run of the year. Pilots are up four to one. A lot of offense early here. Mark Campanero had an unusually slow start to the season this year, but the last two weeks has really picked it up. 2021 Silver Slugger. And that ball is going back. Thomas Blayhouse can't make the play. Back to back home runs. Thomas Blayhouse was running out of room. And Keaton McKay slowly becoming one of the bigger home run threats in the league. And they're just piling on runs here. Chase just leaving a couple too high in the zone. And that's in play to Chase. Knocks it down, throws to first. Great play there. 1-3 to get the first out, a much needed out. And once you get that first out, hopefully things kind of start to fall into place there. Chase can kind of settle down. And that's a hard hit ball again to Thomas. He'll throw to the pitcher, and that's a great play. Jace Pratt one hand catches that, and by no means an easy play to make. That'll be the second out. DJ not happy with that. He's stolen a hit. <laughs> So Mark is a triple away from the cycle here in the top of the second inning. Wow. It's three for three. Very, very rare to hit a triple in AWA, but maybe if he tries. Yeah. Mark, do you hear that? What? You're a triple from the cycle. I don't, don't, if there's don't any, think about yeah, it. If there's any yeah. ball in the gap. <laughs> yeah. If, if there's any ball in the gap, there's absolutely no, no doubles. Oof. One one count now to Mark Campanero. A bit low. And Jace has not pitched poorly. It's just he's left a couple, just a couple hangers top of the zone. And when you're throwing it mid 50s, all these batters are going to be able to catch up to that. Yeah, if your stuff's not breaking, I mean they're just just asking to be hit. Unfortunately, Jace has got one of the, the bigger tells. As Mark will walk. Unfortunately, Jace, when he throws that screwball, he steps out way outside of the yeah. line, so you know exactly what's coming. Yeah, and with wiffle ball, it's kind of hard to not show some of your pitches mm -hmm. to get these things to move like that, but yeah, unfortunately, when it's not, you know, it's, it's a bad combo. And of course, right when you walk, Mark Campanero steps Keen McKay, who also has already hit a home run. Jace steps down to that. Three fourths angle, two and oh count here. Chase only he already has two outs in the inning. <coughs> and that ball is foul down the line, just in front of that on a inside pitch. Two one count. And that's a ball hit to Alex. Oh, and it goes through his legs. Buckner did. That is a tough error there from Alex Harden. They had the out to get out of the inning, and once again, Jace finds himself in an elongated inning. When you're playing the pilots, you just can't make those kinds of mistakes. Josh Campanero will step in. And there's that screwball. Just a bit high. 1-0. Fouls out of play, one and one count. Now a little fun piece of trivia for everyone. Where did Josh Campanero go to school? <laughs> <laughs> Nasty knuckle right there. One and two, froze him. Please submit your answers in the YouTube chat. Two and two. 
Affleck trivia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the answer was UW Bothell. Bothell. And the knuckle just misses now. Full count. The number two overall pick from the 2021 draft. 2022 draft. Wait. 2021? 2022. How many years have we 2022. Yeah, it's been a while. And that will be a walk. Now, base is loaded. He did have a bag open, but he will try his luck at DJ Oliver. DJ had a base hit stolen from him in his last at bat, so we'll see if that affects his mindset here. DJ Oliver has always been a solid hitter, but his pitching has always been his MO. An elite Cy Young candidate every year. That is a knuckle right there that I wonder if DJ wishes he had back. Hanger, one and one. Just misses outside. Nasty pitch. There's just no way that ball ever crossed the actual zone, heart of the plate. It's the top of the zone, two and two. Yeah, sometimes you have to forfeit those ones. Just tip your cap. Yeah. Nasty pitch right there. Huge strikeout for Jace Pratt. In the second consecutive inning where Jace Pratt strikes out a batter with the bases loaded and limits the damage, but the Pilots still lead 5-1 to one, heading into the bottom of the second. And we're ready to start here. The bottom of the second. Tommy McMahon will lead it off. Just missed a couple of Pitches from DJ and he's swinging first pitch on the slider. 0-1. Oh, Hits him there. <laughs> Fortunately, a similar situation from DJ Oliver. We does like to beam his batters. And Tommy McMahon just out in front of it. And you know, over time, it'll just take a little bit for him to get that slider dialed in. Got him, strike three. And that's a quick first out for Tommy. And up steps Thomas Blaus, who's been the only offense for the Wolfpack so far. And I'm wondering if you're DJ Oliver, you just you just pitch around him to get to the other batters? It's not a bad choice. I mean, you made one mistake last at bat and paid for it, so. This is a Wolfpack lineup without Thomas Blaus. That got a perfect game thrown against him. Is that's a hard hit ball? That will be fair. And Thomas just doesn't run it out. <laughs> Don't know if the, the captain's going to love to see that. Be two outs. He's going to be running poles after the game today. It's actually unacceptable. <laughs> Might be a league fine. Alex Harden will step in after Mark Campanero threw him out. Looks at that slider. Ball one. And that ball is hit to Keith McKay, and that is the third out of the inning. A quick inning for DJ Olivers. We're headed to the top of the third. And here we are getting ready to start the top of the third inning. Luck. And Mark Campanero will step in. <laughs> Nasty pitch right there. Strike one. Bottom inside corner. And I know the score is only, or the score is five to one, but it could have been much worse at this point in the game. Jace. Pratt has, oh, that's a nasty pitch right there from Jace with the knuckle. Jace has stranded two bases loaded to get out of the first and second. Yeah, it seems he just needs the pressure to pitch well. Oh, 
one's a little bit low, a good put away pitch there, but the count is now even two and two. Fouls it off there, remains two and two. Good battle here, top of the third inning. Fights it off. And Mark Campanero will look at the seventh pitch of the at bat. And that is fouled out of play as well. 2 2. We'll look at the eighth pitch of the at bat for Mark Campanero. Jace Pratt has thrown 67 pitches so far in this game. And that ball is popped up and caught for the out. Great play from Tommy there. Kind of in no man's land. Tommy was playing a deep shortstop. And that'll be the first out of the inning. It was a good play to come in and avoid the roots there and make that play. That'll be a ball there. Skeet McKay. Nice pitch right there, one and one. Just misses. Flies out of play and that'll be one and two now. Keaton, who solo shot home run. Oh, yeah, 2 2. There's that knuckle. When Jace has landed that pitch, it's kind of froze batters. Yeah, when it's on, it's been on. Keaton just swings over the top of that. Full count. Just out of play. Thomas is running around the house, but unfortunately rolls down. Sounds like pinball. Yeah. <laughs> and it'll be seventh pitch of the at bat here. Full count now to Keaton McKay. Does not swing at the knuckle, and Keaton is on once again. And up steps Josh Campanero, who's 0 for 2 with a K and a ground out here in game number one. Inside, ball one. And that's in play, and Jace will step and tag Josh for the second out, and he throws over to third. Good job by Tommy to hold it there but it will advance the runner, productive out. But that'll be two outs now for the Pilots and DJ Oliver will step in, who has been pitching excellent here in game number one. And efficiently too, he's only thrown 24 pitches today. As opposed to Jace who has thrown 77. One ball. Fouls that out of play, but Jace has done well against him, facing DJ. He's thrown right down the middle. One and two. And a big pitch here coming up for Jace Pratt, trying to get to the bottom of the third, only down four runs. Got him. Strike three. And we are headed to the bottom of the third inning. 5-1 the Pilots, but the Wolfpack have a chance to win it. Jace Pratt will lead it off for the Western Wolfpack here in the bottom of the third. 
0 for 1 with the ground out here in game one. DJ Oliver been very good. Just a solo shot given up to Thomas Blayhouse. Does not go there, ball one. And Peter, what's the keys here for the Wolfpack trying to get some runs on the board against DJ? Well, I think we gotta do is they gotta find a way to hit that slider that's in the zone. That is going to be the key, I think, to them getting on base and scoring runs. And, and I yeah, I'll say, I, I, I know DJ's got those three pitches. We've primarily just seen the slider, and it's almost like, is, it, is he being disrespectful to the lineup by just throwing one pitch the majority I, of the time? I mean, they haven't been able to hit it yet, so until they can show that they can hit it, you know, I mean, keep throwing it, you know? Full count now. It does, it right, hits the knob, foul ball. And that is unfortunate, it would have been a walk, but will remain full here. Does not go, didn't matter, and that'll be a walk for Jace. One of the few base runners. Actually, I mean, if the home run doesn't count, then as a base runner, I then he's the first one. might be yeah. the first, yeah. Tommy McMahon, unfortunately, has struck out twice so far in this game, just behind the slider. I mean, he's swinging at good pitches to swing at, but just a little late. Having trouble with his timing. Really gonna have to adjust here if the Wolfpack wanna wanna come back and get back in this game. It is his first game as he does well to lay off that, and you can kind of tell Wolfpack are looking for that slider. You see right there. He's been looking for it, but he still hasn't been able to show he can hit it yet. Where you get the bat down? Yep. And we'll appeal. He did not go. 3 1. That will be a strike right there. Full count now to Tommy McMahon. Big spot here for the Wolfpack. Got him on a pitch that hit the plate. Strike three. Fooled him. And Thomas has given him a little bit of crap there. And if the Wolfpack want a chance, they need to rely on Thomas here to get a minute. Only, only run scored so far by them today. Thomas has three home runs on the year. Four would push him into the top five. Ball one. Just missed that a little out in front, one and one. And Thomas doesn't run out plays, we've noticed. It's a nasty pitch. Home run or nothing, it seems. Fingers or nothing, baby. Yeah, let me focus. Jeez. But we do like a good run out. You know, you got to run out. Got to show up for show, your team. Show a little bit, yeah. Does well to not swing at the pitch. His teammate swung out just before. That sinker new pitch DJ's been working on in the offseason. And that's a hard hit ball. Oh, and it hits the runner. That'll be a fielder's choice. Thomas almost casually runs, gets the double play, but he will be safe there on the fielder's choice. That's so unlucky. <laughs> and, you know, he did get tagged going to second, but honestly probably would have resulted in an out regardless for Thomas Playoffs, but maybe the, the runner would have gotten to second. But now the final out for the Wolfpack relies squarely on the captain's shoulders, Alex Harden. That's a good pitch to swing at there from Alex just did he make contact with that ball? I think he did. Or was that the bat bend and he swung so hard? That's a good question. <laughs> Just underneath it to Mark Campanero, and that'll do it. The Pilots take game one. They are now 9-1, and one, unfortunately, for the Wolfpack. They fall to 2-8 and eight as we get ready for game two. But Alex not throwing himself out there for game one. That might have been the, the strategy there for the Wolfpack. Yeah, we'll try to see how they can recover in games two and three here. But, you know, hopefully goldfish memory, and they, uh, they can move on.
All right, so we have Bro Brock Blayhouse on the field with Tommy McMahon. We're going to send it on over to them for a little interview. Can I look at you when I answer? Like, no, that way. Yeah, you can look at me. That's weird, though. Yeah. You, yeah. <laughs> to go. I'm here with Tommy. Uh, Tommy, you just got called up today, but you're kind of struggling at the at the plate. Yeah. What's going on in your head? I mean, it feels great to be back, of course. Um, not the results we're looking for, but we're about to get in the lab. And for this next game, we'll get right. All right, next question is, you have $7 and 10 minutes in a grocery store. What are you getting? $7 and 10 minutes, I'm getting, hmm, I'm going to get a nice smoothie. That's what I'm going to get. A smoothie. Yeah. Smoothie. That's a great answer. Tommy, thank you. Back to you, Peter. Thank you, Brock. Riveting stuff. All right, we got one more interview here, it looks like. Brock is going to interview Mark Campanero on the sideline. Let's go on down to Brock. All right, I'm back again, <laughs> and and I'm here with Mark. And, uh, Mark, I'm not going to ask about wiffle ball because right. I want to know what's up with grape nuts. You know grape nuts? No. What's you, know, that? you know grape nuts? You don't know what grape no? nuts? No. What, the granola? What? No, I've never heard of that. Okay, well, next question. <laughs> All right, next. He doesn't know what grape nuts are. Next question is: We're on a kind of desert like island. Brock. It's yeah. just you and me. All right. How long until you start to find me attractive? <laughs> what? Never. How long? Never. Never. No, you know, maybe a day, two days. Two maybe. days. Yeah. Maybe. Two days. That's okay. Yeah. I can. I can deal with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be within the first yeah. two hours yeah, for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, anyways. <laughs> Back to back to the booth. Thanks, Mark. Okay, thank you, Brock. This probably will never happen again with Brock Playhouse <laughs> interviewing. As we get the Wolf Pack to take the field. So we're getting ready to start game two. Brock Playhouse fourth in the line when it comes to interviewing spots, and we uh, we miss our numbers one and two, Molly Foley and Robert. How how do you know what grape nuts are? Yeah, that's actually uh, like it's uh, kind of surprising. Yeah. It's actually really like a red flag about a Mark. A little bit. Doesn't know what grape nuts are. Everyone just knows grape nuts is the cereal nobody wants to eat, but maybe yeah. he never. I, well, I feel like everyone's grandma's got it in the cupboard. Yeah, maybe that know? means he just has nicer parents that never make like buy grape maybe, nuts. Maybe it's an Italian thing. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. And here we go, getting ready to start game number two. Mark Campanero is still on the field. I don't know what he's probably talking to Alex about grape nuts. Hey, guys. Case of play. Pitch clock. Pitch clock. Thomas, you have the mic? No, I don't want to take it. I'll take it. Oh, I was like, wait, what? We need to this. And we're getting ready to start game two here. The Wolfpack. Are they missing someone? That Thomas Blayhouse is just who just doesn't run it out. He's hiding in the house, pouting probably. Don't know what he's doing. Hey, oh, damn. What is he doing? doing there? <laughs> yeah, I know. He's eating food. My goodness. Franchise guy, you know. Gosh. Yeah. 
you know, and, and there's been a lot of talk, you know, why the Wolfpack are two and eight. It's just kind of, you know, it might be because they got guys like Tom's who just aren't really team players. Eating between, yeah, eating between games, <laughs> not making it on time. And here we go. First pitch of game two, and we're ready to go. That'll be just outside ball one to DJ Oliver, who pitched amazingly in game number one. One, one. You got to think with that pitch right there, you got to think Alex's idea as team captain was, hey, DJ's going to pitch game one, we'll let him have it, but I'm going to pitch games two and three, and we're going to win this series. Yeah, I definitely think that was the mentality going in. And, you know, if they're able to get a win this game, I think they got a good shot of getting the series. Swinging right there, strike three. That'll be... One out in the inning. For Alex Harden. Alex Harden, one of those pitchers, high in strikeout totals and just kind of the way the Wolfpack have been, it's it's kind of been the only way they can get an out, and that's what's led to his high strikeout total. Set a franchise record, actually an AWA record last year with 116 Ks. He is the active leader in strikeouts in the AWA. And that's a hard hit ball from Mark, and that does not go out. That ball was a foot away from getting out of here. But unfortunately for Mark, that'll just result in a single. <laughs> Keaton McKay will step in, had a solo shot in game one. As that ball just outside from Alex Harden. He does have two pitches, but he'll primarily stick to that slider that is very good for, for wiffle ball because it's the top of the zone. Gets some, some players to pop it out. And unfortunately in wiffle ball, a ground ball is not very helpful. Three, one count. And that will walk Keaton McKay Runners on first and second, and up steps Josh Campanero, who's had a little bit of a slower start here today in game one, but still leads the team in average. Yeah, a lot of wiffle ball left for the uh, UW Bothell graduate, so we'll see what he's able to do. That'll be a foul ball. 0-1 oh, count. Josh Campanero did lead the team in home runs for weeks one and two. Here we are in week four of the AWA season, in a nine week season. That'll be a foul ball right there. Does well to fight it off, the count remain one and two. And that, did that hit him? Him inside, two and two is the count. Full count now, good job from Josh to lay off the ball there to keep it full. You know, if you're Alex Harden, you first inning, you didn't pitch, wondering how ready his arm was to just get right into it. And that is a strike right there, strike three, two outs in the inning, and that's a big one for Alex Harden. DJ Oliver will step in with a new bat. The axe bat, ball one. Looks at ball two. DJ, who is very good at pitching, unfortunately has struggled a bit with on the hitting side of the ball in game one, but that'll be a 3-0 count now. We'll see what he does on the 3-0. <coughs> He'll be swinging away. Let's see if we get a courtesy swing here. Do get the courtesy swing. Not required, but sign of respect because most players don't want to take a four pitch walk. Nobody likes to walk. Nonetheless, will result in a walk to load the bases. And up steps Mark Campanero, hottest hitter on the pilots right now. And we'll see what Alex Harden will do here. 
And, you know, kind of in this situation, you almost think Barry Bonds treatment, you know. Do, you, do, we, do we pitch around him? If it walks, whatever, you know, we walk a batter. But a grand slam is the last thing you want if you're the ball pack. That's true, yeah. And I think early in this game, you got two outs. I think you go after him here personally. It's a bit low there. Mark Campanero takes it. 1-0. Does not go 2-0. and oh. <laughs> Swings there. If there's one pitch Mark has been susceptible over the years, it's that inside sinker. Looking at his scouting report. Does not go there. 3-1. and one. Yeah, Mark's really like those pitches that are inside. And so I think that sinker inside, it looks juicy, and he just swings over the top of him. Mark has had a fair amount of opposite field home runs, which is either tells you the pitchers are getting better, thrown harder, or Mark's just been a little bit off. And we kind of saw earlier in the year, Mark's average was right around 200, it's a place he's never seen it before. But the last two weeks, he's really come back from that slump he was in. Yeah, well, it's also season getting started. and. Uh, and that'll be a walk for Mark Campanero. It's one way to get an RBI. And the Pilots will take another lead, 1-0. Not a very fun way to get an RBI, but an RBI nonetheless. Up steps Keaton McKay, who also had that oppo home run in game one. And that ball is just out of play. It might be playable. It caught from Tommy McMahon in foul territory. And that's huge. A base is loaded out for the Wolfpack to keep the lead at 1-0. And we're headed to the bottom of the first 1-0. Getting ready to start the bottom of the first. Tommy McMahon will step in and we'll see if he can change his fortunes against EJ Oliver. Has three Ks against him so far. And it's not like he's been fooled crazy. It's just that one slider is just, oh, and a little bit of hit right there on Tommy McMahon. Yeah, he's just been trouble timing that slider. So we'll see if, he'll, uh, if he's able to adjust this game and uh, attack it. DJ is one of those pitchers as Tommy swings that is good enough to know the tendencies of hitters and know that Tommy McMahon has just not been able to do it. So yeah. he'll, he'll keep throwing that and he will not throw it for strikes like you see right there. Yeah. Yeah, he does his research, that's for sure. Three and one count now for Tommy McMahon looking to get on base for the first time today. Does well. And Tommy McMahon starts off on a high note there, reaching base against DJ Oliver, no small feat. Up steps Thomas Blayhouse, who was one for three in game one. Hit the third home run of his 2023 campaign. We'll see how DJ Oliver approaches this at bat, but he, as the innings went on, he's a little more careful. That's a nasty pitch right there, outside zone. And that is just underneath it. DJ Oliver makes the play, and Thomas Blayhouse upset with himself that he that. missed that it. <laughs> Apologies for the vulgar language. <laughs> Thomas Blayhouse showing why he's a true <laughs> <laughs> fill in the blank. <laughs> One out. And Alex Harden will step in. Looking to help his team out, 1-0. He's got to be strong as Taylor. And he does well through the legs, through the wickets. We'll see if Alex can make beat it out. He will make it there, and Tommy advances all the way to third. Great productive hit from Alex Harden as he gets on board in the Wolf Pack. Yeah. Alex Harden worried that wouldn't be a single, but no, that's all means that is a single. single all day. When you nutmeg the pitcher, yeah. it's a single. Tough play to make for DJ. And now Jace Pratt will step in in a big spot for the Wolf Pack. And DJ Oliver, 
you know, it didn't come back to haunt him in game one, but he, he's, he doesn't look as sharp as we've seen him, but, you know, this Wolfpack team has been struggling offensively, so maybe that's what's kind of contributed to how well he pitched in game one, is 3-0 is not a count to Jace. Does not go, and that'll be a four-pitch walk. Base is loaded for who else but Tommy McMahon looking to rewrite the ship here against DJ Oliver in a big spot. Time run at third base. He's k three times against DJ and walked in four at-bats. Much more patient on the slider here from Tommy. Hold on. That slider's not playing in the zone right now, so both pack hitters are laying off, but a little less bite than we normally see on that slider from DJ. Does not go 3-0, and and these pitches are progressively farther and farther away from the zone. Yeah, really struggling right now. And that was a good pitch to swing out there from Tommy, but he does miss it. Three and one. Full count now. And lays off. That will be a bases loaded walk to tie the game. And this is the first time in two games, other than the score being 0 0, the Wolfpack wow, gotta catch tie here. the game. And Thomas Blayow steps in in his biggest spot in the season so far for the Wolfpack. Bases loaded against arguably the league's best pitcher. See what he can do here. Yeah, he just missed his last at bat, too, popping out. But see what he's able to do here. He's been very annoyed. Is a ball. Does not go, according to the... And that just again misses it. Thomas Blaus not happy with that. That'll be two outs. And now the team captain will step in, Alex Harden. It's the mic. It's off now. It's the mic. Hey, Alex, there's your chance to pull the gun. I sure hope so. And that is a Harden ball just foul. Alex Harden missed a grand slam by about a foot. Just missed the foul pole there. Oh, man. That is unfortunate. You know, Wrong first strike. He steps out on that slider, and if he didn't step out, I think he. That's in that play to Mark. He'll look and throw and hits Thomas for the out. That's a great play right on the bottom. And that's a huge out to get out of a bases loaded jam as we head to the top of the second. We're getting ready to start inning one. I mean, top of inning two. That's a hard hit ball. Safe at first, and Jace Pratt had a chance to make the play there. Unfortunately, couldn't come up with it. That's a good job. Knock that down. That was rising up. That might have carried to the wall. Runner. How close was it? To what? To get out? Yeah. Not close at all. Okay. <laughs> well, well, Jack was like, eh, well, <laughs> you were like, not at all. I also wasn't watching. He threw it by like a second half. As that will hit DJ Oliver for ball one. One and one there to DJ. He did miss last week getting accustomed to seeing these pitches. As that's a hard hit ball in the gap. Thomas Blayhouse going. Doesn't have the play. Unfortunately, 
when you have these hitters hitting it, Oppo, there's not usually a guy there. Finds the gap, and DJ Oliver's aboard. I believe that's the first, huh. second hit of the day. He did a double last game. The strike right there on Mark Campanero. Swings there. One and two count now to Mark Campanero. Fights it off, and the count remain one and two. Campanero has been top three in the league every year since entering in home runs. He looks at ball two, two and two. And now it'll be full count to Mark Campanero, who singled in his first at bat. And that's a hard hit ball. That's a fair ball. Rarely finds that area over there. Gets by the first baseman, Thomas Blayhouse. And the bases are now loaded for Keaton McKay. No outs here, bases loaded in the Wolfpack find themselves in a similar situation. They do have three strikeouts to get out of a bases loaded jam so far today. Two and oh. To me. That'll be a strike there on the knob, two and one. Three one count now. So Keaton McKay, we'll see what he does here. Does have a fair amount of walks so far in this series. And that is out of play. Don't think Thomas had a chance at getting that catch. Be a full count now to Keaton McKay. We'll see what the game plan is here. Got him, strike three on a perfect pitch from Alex Hart and a much needed out number one. That was a good pitch in a tough spot there. He put that where only uh, a person set out way outside would be able to, or yeah. would be able to hit a perfect inside pitch there. Even if you're making contact with that, you're not making good contact. So really the perfect pitch. Josh Campanero will step in. A Utah Bothell grad. Was the second overall pick in the 2021 draft. Was it 2021? 2022. That's a good question. That's a question for the fans. They probably know. He, it was, it was 2021 as he falls out back as his brother came into the year, Mark, at the same time one year later, but he was a captain, so he wasn't technically drafted. Okay. Two and two. Two, two here to Josh Campanero. Does not go. Not a very close pitch, and it'll be full count now. Base is loaded here, top of the second. And that ball is going back, and Thomas, great play! And Thomas does not hold the runner at third. They do tag and get a run. Almost looks like Thomas Blaus didn't realize there was a tagging opportunity there. Made the catch, but he does do well to get the second out of the inning. The runners will advance up a bag. 2-1 the score here as DJ Oliver looks at ball one. Just low. 2-0. No. Three and oh. And that'll be a four pitch walk to DJ Oliver. He did have a bag open. But 
unfortunately it doesn't get much easier with Mark Campanero on deck. Pilots have been the toughest team to play this year. And that's why they have the least amount of losses. Last year we saw all six teams equal in standings or within one game. And now this year with eight teams, we see a lot of teams just dominating all the wins. As that ball's popped up and caught for the out, and that is a big out for the Wolfpack and Alex Hart as we head to the bottom of the second, 2-1. Strike one. <laughs> one and one count now to Jace Pratt, who walked in his last at bat. Looks at a slider. <laughs> nasty pitch right there from DJ Oliver to get the first out of the inning. That's a nasty drop ball. I know, but it would have been a ball if the zone was actually on the yeah. Up steps Tommy McMahon in his debut. Looks to help his team out here offensively. Looks at that slider go wide. Ball one. Yeah, he's starting to lay off that slider now. Missed a lot in the first game, but really starting to identify it. <laughs> right down the middle there. One and one. <laughs> was right as I say something. Free swinging now, one and two. That'll be a ball. Still looking for his first hit of the season. Got him. Nasty drop ball there from DJ Oliver. And he's just toying with the oh Wolfpack no. right now. After a rough inning for DJ Standers' first inning, he comes back in inning two just throwing some nasty pitches. Thomas Blas will step in, does have the solo shot against him in game one, but since then has been very quiet. And that ball is foul. Destroyed foul. Just foul. We're never getting that one back. Nope. It's the next county over. And he does well. That's an oppo hit. We'll see what Thomas does. And he stays at first. Coming from the guy who doesn't run much out, it makes sense that he'd stay at first. But that'll be a single, a rare single from Thomas Blayhouse. Usually it's a dingers or nothing mentality. As that is a slider just inside for the captain, Alex Arden. Strike right there on the slider. You see Mark Campanier here with third base. It's tough to see over the sun right in the eyes. And that is a foul ball just a bit late. Count goes to one and two here. And Alex does well to hold off on the sinker that got Tommy and Jace out and he does well to hold off on it again. You can see DJ's got a plan here. It's get ahead with the slider and then go straight to the sinker, put away pitch on strike three. Is that full? Yeah. Full count. Full count, two here, two outs here in the bottom of the second. And that, he just missed the slow ball and DJ Olive will make the catch for the out. We're headed to the top of the third, score two to one.
Keaton McKay will lead it off for the Pacific Pilots. If you're joining us on YouTube, make sure to head to Fantasy Wiffle Ball. To play Fantasy Wiffle Ball free to play, win prizes every week. Ball one. And that's a hard hit ball to Tommy. Knocks it down, throws across. And that's not, now you can get him out. That is not an extra base. No, he, you can turn. That's not a, that's, that will be a, a single with an error charge, perhaps to Thomas Blayhouse, but Keen McKay, McKay, take, McKay taking advantage of the lack of play over there. That'll be a leadoff double there for Keen McKay, ball one. Two no. Two and one. Fights off a good pitch right there. Now the two count is two and two. Just misses inside, full count to Josh Campanero, who's one for three. In the day as he hits that one just foul. We'll look at the seventh pitch of the at-bat. And that's in play. Alex Harden knocks it down, throws the first, gets the out. What a play from Thomas Blayhouse to snag that one-handed. Great play there, and Keaton McKay does not advance. Great play all around for the Wolfpack to get the first out of the top of the third. Lights that one off, strike one. 0-2. Oh, Fights it off. Van catches it. It will remain 0-2. Oh, See what Alex has put away pitches. A bit of a cricket pitch there. One and two. And that's a hard hit, soft hit. See if he throws it. Does not, and you knew the moment Tommy threw the ball, Keaton was going to advance from second to third. A productive hit right there. And you always got to got to wonder if the shortstop right there, if the ball's hit over there, someone's at second. We'll go to the booth. We'll go to the booth. They want to challenge the play. I would like to see the replay. And the booth says he's safe. Beat them by a step. A boy, a boy. Here we go. And that's a ball hit under the arm of Tommy McMahon. And unfortunately for the Wolfpack, they need every out they can get. And unfortunately, another run will score. Scoring out three to one. Right down the middle, strike one. No pitch. Ball one. Will be 2 0 count. That's a hard hit ball. Mark does well to avoid at second base. And Keen's gonna get all the way to second on the poor throw from Jace. Another run will score runners on second and third now. Four to one. Here with one out. Inside, ball one. Josh Campanero steps in. And Alex Harden working a little faster. Can barely keep up up here. Starting to lose it a bit. Yeah. 
That'll be a four-pitch walk to Josh Campanero, and the bases are now loaded. Top of the order, DJ Oliver. <laughs> DJ Oliver had a base hit in his last at-bat, starting to find a little more success against Alex Harden, but another big spot here with the bases loaded, only one out. That's a nasty pitch right there, strike one. Appeal does not go. 1-1. One, one. Just inside, 2-1. and one. And that's a hard hit ball to, J to Tommy. He'll throw to first, overthrow. That's a dead ball. You get one bag. And that'll be a two-run scoring single there from DJ Oliver, big hit right there. And the score is now six to one. The Pals are starting to pour it on here in the top of the third. DJ, second. No pitch, no pitch. Remain 0 and 0 here to Mark Campanero. Two and Three and oh and that ball has popped up a lifeline for Alex Harden of and that just is unacceptable for the Wolfpack. You gotta call the ball there. A tough play for the pitcher to make. Thomas has gotta make that catch. Scare, scored an error either on the pitcher or the first baseman. The bases are now loaded again for Keaton McKay. Nice pitch right there. Strike one. Yeah, if you want. One and one. Swinging over the top of that one, one and two. Just inside, 2-2. Two, two. And Keen McKay swinging at the high pitch right there. Needs to reload on balls. Another big pitch here for Alex Harden. Bases loaded jam here as the Wolfpack find themselves down six to one. Fights it off. Full count now. Key McKay will look at the eighth pitch of the at bat. Got him, strike three. And that's a big strike out there from Alex Harden. Two outs now. You gotta look back to that error a couple or a batter before on Mark Campanero, a play that Alex and Thomas, the Wolfpack, should have had. They would be out of this inning, but unfortunately, the error cost them. Yeah, it's a tough thing about errors, you know. And Alex, a little angry there. Alex Ball. is going to be at 100 pitches this pitch here. Does not go 2-0 and oh to Josh Campanero. Does well to hit it, and no one is there. That'll be a single for Josh Campanero. Kind of deflects right off of Alex Harden. Doesn't go for it. And that'll be uh, the seventh run for the Pilots that comes across. DJ Oliver will now step in. And that's a strike right down the middle. A one. Does go. O2. Strike three. And Alex Harden must be very happy to get out of that inning. But the score now is seven to one.
Run it at the wall. He was already he was already rounding second. Check. He was already rounding second when 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 he was going to he was already rounding. What are you talking about? He didn't run through the bag. He was rounding second. It only matter the base pass doesn't matter if he runs through the bag, but he didn't. And here we go, getting ready to start the third inning. Jace Pratt will lead it off. You got the team score. What, what, it was, you, you're, it, it, it wouldn't have mattered. You walked the base score and then you made the error. So that, that we, we gave up when you got a good point. And here we go. Three outs before that. Swinging over the top of that one, 0-1. Oh and one. one and one, Thomas Blau's chirping a lot for a man that's been on base only twice today. Two, one and two, now the count. Got him on the drop ball, and the Wolfpack are down to their final two outs here in the bottom of the third. Thomas, put the mic back on. I think that's the problem. Tommy McMahon will step in, who unfortunately hasn't had much success against DJ here. The good news, at least for the Wolfpack, is DJ will not be pitching game three. Does not swing. Ball one. One and one count. Yes, Does get some contact there, one and two. Fouls it back here. And that'll be a strike three for Tommy. The second out of the inning. And the Wolfpack are now down to their final out. Thomas Blaus will step in. Wolfpack have been held to one run in both games so far. We'll see. It's helping him, it's helping him out. Thomas Blaus adjusting the zone. And that's just inside. You see DJ really pick up his velo when Thomas steps in as that ball. Low two, two and oh. And that's a hard hit ball. Thomas Blaus doesn't run it out, and that will cost him the game. The Pacific Pilots take game two, seven to one, and they will win the series as we head to game three. Fixing the mic. I mean the strike zone. I'm interviewing myself. Fixing the strike zone. Shane, how is it? 
Get, getting ready to start game three. <laughs> The Wolf Pack have just been upset all game. Oh, no, sorry. I didn't, I didn't realize you were taking the ball. Oh, you're good. Well, Chirping quite a bit at the officiating, but unfortunately, their defense and pitching and offense, actually everything, just has not been up to par against the now 10 and 1 Pacific Pilots. And here we go. DJ Oliver will lead it off. Facing Jace Pratt, Alex Harden has elected to take himself out of the game. Maybe we'll see him. We're getting the lineups figured out. Mark Campanero will be pitching as DJ Oliver pitched two excellent games to secure the series for the Wolfpack. And we're ready to start. First pitch underway. Jace Pratt, ball one. Two O count. Three O count. I feel like if you're Alex, he has some unlucky breaks, but he's got to put himself back in the game. That'll be a four-pitch walk. Wolfpack, unfortunately, are not very deep when it comes to pitching. Mark Campanero will step in, trying to do some damage here. Fights off the first pitch, 0-1. Oh, one and one count. Nasty knuckle just low. Surprised Mark didn't go for that. Two and one. Three and one count. And that is a nasty pitch right there. Full count now. Yeah, no, so full count, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, I know, I know you don't have, yeah. Yeah, you're fine. Full count now to Mark Campanero. Thomas Blayhouse on his phone over at first. He just does not give a dang about his team. He's trying to blame it on the officiating, but unfortunately you can't blame anything, everything on us. And that's in play to Thomas. He picks it up while holding his phone for the out. Will advance the runners. According to reports, Thomas Blayhouse is playing Clash. That will be a league fine. Josh Campanero steps in. Ball one. And that's another hard hit ball to Thomas. Can't make the play and a run will score. Unfortunately, a position the Wolfpack have found themselves in down. Outs will go up one to nothing. Here with one out in the top of the first. DJ Oliver will step in. Swing in first pitch there. Great pitch from Jace. Hits him there one and one. And that is a hard hit ball in the gap. A run will score. Josh gets all the way to third. It'll be 2 nothing now the score. Oh, 
Runners on the corners for Mark Campanero. And that's a hard hit ball thrown to first. What a catch from Thomas. They'll get the second out. But another run does come across. So it'll remain three to nothing now, but with two outs and a runner at second base, Keaton McKay will step in. Ball on. And that's popped up to Thomas Blayhouse. Makes the catch for the out, but not without three runs coming across for the pots as we head to the bottom of the first. If you're a fan of fantasy, at link in bio for fantasy wiffle ball is free to play with weekly prizes. Full real time stats, as well as pick them in other games. Weekly prize winners, it's all for free. PlayerTrader.net slash AWA. So we're getting ready to start. Inning number one, the bottom of the first, and Mark Campanero will be the starter here in game three. Mark over his career has been a little bit rough on the mound, but this year has been his best year pitching by far. He is not normally a pitcher, but the Pilots are without Brad McGinnis. Peter, what are the keys for the Wolfpack to get on base here against Mark? Well, you know, Mark, I mean, if he's throwing his stuff in the zone, you can get hits, but, you know, you also just got to watch out and, um, you know, don't be swinging at stuff that's not going to be in the zone. Um, you know, you need to get your base runners, take walks, take what you can, and just, uh, you know, try to get some, uh, try to score some runs. And that has been a, a key feature, just swinging, just not swinging at the balls. Mark will get a little bit wild at some points, and it's just on the hitters to be able to stand back and kind of wait for those good pitches over the plate. As Tommy McMahon will lead it off, let's get ready to go right here. Mark Campanero also has the record for most practice throws. He is, he is dialed when it comes. I think he's probably thrown already 200 pitches today, so we'll see how that arm's feeling. He is one of the slower workers in the league. Just a bit high there. And if you're Tommy McMahon, you gotta be fired up. You're not seeing DJ Oliver. Nice pitch right there, bottom of the zone, two and one. Does not go, hits him three and one. And that'll be a walk for Tommy McMahon. And if you're looking at that left side with DJ Oliver Key McKay. That's got to be the, the greatest fielding um, players we've seen in a lineup so far this year. Yeah, for sure. I mean, they've stolen a lot of, that's a balk on Mark right there. <laughs> he steps off trying to play it cool. Hits Thomas there, ball one. And that's in play to Mark, knocks it down and throws it for the out. Tommy will advance to third though, so a productive out. Alex once again upset and throwing shade to us. We're just here trying to help everyone out, have fun. And we just get absolutely oh, verbally assaulted. We get verbally assaulted. We actually have a review booth this year. We go to the booth to confirm our, but we still get attacked, hate to see it. Just late on that, 0-1. Oh Hits him there, 1-1. One and one. Mm -hmm. 
And that ball's going back. And that's out of here. Two run shot from Alex Hart and a wall scraper, but it counts the same. Score now two to three, and that's the most runs the Wolfpack have scored in a game so far today. Dinger King helmet, throw it on him. And that's gotta feel good for Alex. Oh yeah. Alex quietly having a great home run season. Four home runs already in the year. That's good for top five. And on a struggling Wolfpack team, a lot of these individual performances go unnoticed. Jace does not swing there on a pitch he probably should have. 0 and 1. Fouls that back, 0 and 2. Does not go. You can see Mark Campanero has been working on his craft this year when it comes to pitching. Multiple pitches. Years prior, he had an EFIS. He has not gone to that very much this year. Just late. Does not go. It was close. The count is now two and two. Wolfpack have been prone to the sinker here today. Does not go again. Full count. Just misses outside, and that'll be a walk for Jace Pratt. And up steps Tommy McMahon, who's trying to help his team out here. Walked in his first at bat here against Mark. Looks at strike one right down the middle. Swinging on the riser, 0 oh 2. Got him, strike three. And Tommy, unfortunately, will strike out for the second out of the inning. And up steps Thomas Blayhouse. Had a ground out in his first at bat. Just a bit outside, and you gotta wonder, is Mark trying to pitch around Thomas right here? It wouldn't appear that way. <laughs> Just rolled that one across <laughs> the plate. This isn't bowling. Thomas thought about it, but now 3-0 and count. We'll see if we'll get a swing here from him. He might have wanted that back. It was a little bit higher in the zone, but Thomas a little late on it. 3-1 and one count now. Two outs here in the bottom of the first. Runner on first here in a 3-2 ball game. And he'll take a look at a walk. We'll advance Jace to second. And Alex Harden will step in after the sole, or the two-run home run he pimped. Well, you always kind of pimp it. Look at it a little bit. One or two runners on, two outs. Lays off. One and oh. Swinging at that juicy looking riser, one and one. That is foul ball. Just a bit late on that. One and two. Bit off there for the second ball, evens the count two and two. And that ball just late. Alex Harden hit that one hard, but unfortunately just goes foul. Count remain two and two as Alex will look at the seventh pitch of the at bat. Chase Pratt at second base, Thomas Blayos at first. Not amazing speed on the bases. 
but a ball in the gap should score. So that'll be a ball low, full count now. Two outs, something's gotta give. Does not go and that will walk the bases full. And up steps Jace Pratt with a chance to help his team out here. Mark Campanero has been very good at lowering his whip in this season, but unfortunately finds himself in a bases loaded situation. And that ball is hit hard. And of course, Keaton McKay once again saves the pilots. And quickly, Keaton's becoming an MVP candidate with his defensive stops. So we head to the top of the second. Josh Campanero will lead it off. Strike there. 0-1 oh, count. Fights it off, and that is a fair ball. Stayed on the white line, and that'll be a single. For Josh Campanero and DJ Oliver will step in. So that'll be a strike down the middle. And that's a nice sinker right there. Kind of a bailout there for Jace Pratt, but 0 2 is the count now on DJ Oliver. Pilots are looking to swing here in the second inning. Got him, strike three on three pitches. And that'll be the first out of the inning. And up steps Mark Campanero with one out here in the top of the second. And that's in play, Jace can't come up with it and that is Softly hit, so both runners will advance. And Tommy does well to do the fake throw over to limit Josh from advancing to third. Keen McKay will step in after the amazing bases loaded catch to keep the score at 3-2. Does not go for that knuckle. And that ball is going back, and Thomas Playhouse makes the grab! What a play from Thomas Playhouse. It's only the second out of the inning, but Thomas Playhouse robs a home run from Keaton. He returns the favor after Keaton robbed one earlier this year. And Thomas Playhouse taking a breather. I have a timeout here. If Keaton a piece of his own medicine right there, right? That was a huge catch. Would have been a three-run home run. Thomas Blayhouse walking it off. That was a, another full extension over the head. And, you know, that, that those might have been the two best robs we've seen in AWA's history. Had some good ones this year, that's for sure. And in a, in a one-run game where the Wolfpack need every out they can get, their defense has let them down. <laughs> and <laughs> Thomas Blayhouse. Wait, wait. So we'll, we're gonna we're gonna wait a little bit, see if Thomas can come back out here. So we'll get the, the the medics on him. See what's going on back there. Training staff. Training staff. We'll take a look. <laughs> we'll hear shortly if he can step right back in. But we want to give the Wolfpack every chance they can here. That we don't want to plan down a person, especially someone who made a great play like Thomas Playhouse. Josh Campanero will lead it off when Thomas Playhouse comes back. Josh, two for two in this game. Two for two with two singles. 
And if you're joining us on TikTok, head on over to YouTube. And if you're on YouTube, sign up for Fantasy Wiffle Ball. Free to play. And win weekly prizes. Soon we'll be implementing a pay feature. So you will actually be able to bet on games with real money. Granted, based on your physical location. Thomas Blayhouse taking some time here in the dugout. Medical training staff is looking at him after he robbed a home run. Ran right into that fence. We'll see. So we look at the fans. Clearly they look concerned about Thomas Blayhouse. All in, all in shock. <laughs> And we'll, we'll see. We've just sent in a physician to see where we are with Thomas Blouse, if we're just going to have to continue this inning. And it looks like the Wolfpack might have to play down a person if Thomas Blayhouse can't come out as we zoom into the clubhouse. And there is the. Okay, one minute. We're putting in the third stick, so just need a minute. <laughs> okay, they said we need one more minute. They're putting in the third stitch. Thomas Blayhouse, whoever said wiffle ball is not for tough, toughies. It's just like hockey, apparently. As we wait for one more minute for Thomas Blayhouse to come back here. So we look at the medical training room on the live. As <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we look at the players kind of stretching out, trying to stay loose. Thomas Blass, who was just joining us, made an absurd catch. He is back. Maybe he just went in there to get some food. He's coming out here with a pepperoni stick, but he has returned. <laughs> maybe that's all you need, huh? Let that be, you know, maybe it's just another mystery of the AWA. What was Thomas actually doing back there after making one of the greatest plays we'll see this year? Work up an appetite making a play like that, maybe. Seriously. Yeah. And here we go, ready to start the top of the second. Back up again. Two outs, runners on first and second, 0-0 zero, zero count. Bid outside to Josh Campanero. He does go one and one on a slow pitch from Jace. Speeds it up there, but misses two and one. Just low, three and one count now. Does well to fight it off. And we'll have a full count now to Josh Campanero. And the slow pitch misses, and that will be a walk. The bases are now loaded for DJ Oliver, who's one for two with a walk, single, and a strikeout here in game number three. <laughs> One for two, not too shabby. As we look at DJ's hat, one of the more sweaty hats we've seen in the league. <laughs> and that is a foul ball just in front of it. Don't know if that's discoloration from the sweat or not, but it's all sweat. It's, all sweat? Uh, it's, all sweat. it's confirmed. It's a cold day today, too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. One and one evens the count. Outs. Yeah. And that is a nice looking knuckleball there. One and two now. And this is a big at bat here for Jace Pratt. DJ does well to fight it off. Remains one and two. Base is loaded. <laughs> and that ball is absolutely destroyed. DJ Oliver, a grand slam. The Wolfpack are in shock. Just when you think the momentum is starting to change their, their way with Thomas Blayles making one of the best plays you'll see all year, DJ Oliver says, nope. That thing was destroyed. He got all of that. And DJ, who hasn't been 
particularly hot today. Batting wise, you know, comes through for his team. The score now 7 2. You gotta wonder, you know, going back to Alex Harden, why did he choose to start Chase? Game number three is where he got seven runs here in the second. Two balls. <laughs> and that's a knuck. It will be in play for Thomas Blaus. He'll make the catch, and they get out of it, but not without a grand slam from DJ Oliver. We're headed to the bottom of the second, score 7-2. We're getting ready to start the bottom of the second. Mark Campanero only gave up two runs. It was a two run shot to Alex Harden in the first inning. We're ready to start inning two, bottom of the second. Tommy McMahon will step in here. Ball one. One and one count now. Tommy swinging over the top of that one, one and two. Got him, strike three. Unfortunately for the Wolfpack, they have been very prone to the drop ball today. Up steps Thomas Blayhouse, who's made the play of the year for the Wolfpack with that home run rob over his left shoulder had to step out for about 10 minutes five to ten minutes in the trainer's room but he is back and we'll see what he can do offensively for the Wolfpack who are down seven to two looks at a strike right there oh and one lights that off oh two As well to fight that off again. Some good pitches there by Mark. Mark pounding the zone here. A little bit outside there, one and two. Some real loads on balls here. Two count here, one out here in the bottom of the second inning here of game number three. Just crossed a two hour mark. Thought about it, but it is high two and two. Does not go now, full count. And that'll be a walk for Thomas Blayhouse. Does well to fight back from an 0 2 count. Wolfpack will have. A runner on at first. Alex Harden will step in, captain of the Wolfpack. Trying to do some damage here against Mark Campanero. Had the two-run shot in the first inning of game three. Low. Ball one. Swinging over the top of the screwball, one and one. Oh no! 
So unfortunately, for yeah. 61, no pitch. 1-1 one, one remains the count. Ball matter 1-2 and two now count. We'll see what Mark does here. Plays off of it. Mark has been very good at getting to two strikes and not throwing any mistakes over the heart of the plate. Yeah. And unfortunately for Alex, he's familiar with the uh, the ball going off the bat there. So it'll be a foul ball. Wondering if we'll see Alex Harden come in to pitch in the third inning. Got him, strike three, a little late. That'll be the second out of the inning. Up steps Jace Pratt. Walked his last time up. So he looks at a strike right down the heart. Mark Campanero has drastically improved his walks from last year to this year used to be a walkathon. But right now, as you can see, he's just pounding the zone one and two count. Yeah, he's gotten a lot better at finding the zone this year. Two and two count. As Mark will reload on balls, two on, two out, or one on, two outs, two and two count, bottom of the second. A lot of twos. Wolfpack have two runs. Two out, bottom of the second, 2-2. Two, two. But unfortunately for them, they, they're facing a seven from the pilots. Does not go. It'll be the second full count Mark has gone to this inning. Swing, strike three, and that'll end the inning on a pitch that Jace didn't want to swing at, but decides to in the end. We're headed to the top of the third, score seven to two. And we're getting ready to start the top of the third inning. Score is still seven to two. The Pilots trying to sweep the Wolf Pack. If you told me the Pilots were going to sweep the Wolf Pack here today, you know, I, I probably would have believed you. Unfortunately, the, the Pilots have been the best team in the AWA and the, the Wolf Pack, even though they have added two good offensive players here this week. They were a perfect game was thrown against them last week. So Yeah. Just been a tough, tough year so far for the Wolf Pack, and the Pilots have just been extremely hot coming into this series. Unfortunately for the Wolf Pack, they had three first round picks. The first overall pick has not shown up yet for the Wolf Pack. Mm. They they bet on the number one prospect, and unfortunately, still hasn't been able to be here. So yeah, one one. Real unfortunate for them, and you know, just sometimes you have years like that where it doesn't work out, and you have to kind of adjust and. You know, do the best that you can with what you got. Keen McKay steps. And that ball's going back. And Keaton McKay said, look, Thomas, you can rob one home run from me, but you can't take two. And that'll be a home run for Keaton McKay. Quietly is putting together an excellent home run season. His fifth home run of the year. And that'll put him in the top ten tied. Jackson Carr for most home runs in the league so far. Eight to one. I wonder if we see Alex Harden come in at any point. Looks like he's still not going in there. Unfortunately for the Wolfpack, it's kind of that give up mentality. Yeah, maybe you just take your losses and uh, 
move on to next week, you know, the next series. That's a hard hit ball in the gap. And for a team whose logo is a dog, I'm not seeing much dog in these players. Not not much pep in the step of this wolf pack. Looking looking a little sad out there. DJ Oliver will swing though, we know that for sure. Two for three here in game three. One and one count. Miss with the knuckle. Two and one. Three and one now. And he will not swing at that knuckleball. And he is on with a walk. Runners on a first and second now. With no outs. Mark Campanero will step in. In a big spot here. Ball inside there, hits him on the elbow. Just misses again, eight to two. And you know, I know if Alex doesn't want to pitch, that's one thing, but just leaving Jace out there. Don't know if that, that should be the move. You're trying to give some confidence to your players. Just leaving them out there, hanging them to dry against one of the best hitting lineups in the AWA. Does not go, and that'll be a four-pitch walk. Base is loaded now. And we'll see what the Wolfpack are going to do. Looks like they're not warming up any arms. Jace almost looks like he's pleading to Tommy over short, come in, help me out. <laughs> he's like, no, man, I don't want any part of this lineup. Yeah. Unfortunately for the Wolfpack, there is no run limit in the third. And guess who's up? Keaton McKay, who had a home run in his last at bat. He's had a ball. And that's a hard hit ball. Alex Harden will get the out. He bobbled it, but he did get the runner at second. But a run will come in, 9-2. to two. Alex Harden never makes it easy out there, always trying to mess with us. But that will be an RBI for Keaton on a fielder's choice. Josh Campanero will step in, 9-2 the score. Mm -hmm. We'll see what Josh Campanero can do. Does not swing at the sinker. Nicks the zone there, 1-1. One and one. And that's a nasty screwball, but Josh does well to foul it off. One and two count. The number two overall pick from the 2021 draft. Goes right back to the screwball. Misses. I think he heard the commentary booth hyping him up with his screwball. So, got to stick with what works. Yeah. If you're getting compliments, keep doing <laughs> it, right? Nasty knuckleball gets him strike three. And that is the second out of the inning. And up steps DJ Oliver. Slider misses outside, ball one to DJ. Just a bit high. DJ walked his last at bat against Jace. And that is a foul ball. Jace does do a good job of mixing up pitches. Fast to slow. There's that screwball just misses. Unfortunately, you can tell when he is throwing it. It'll be a three and one count. DJ 
EJ fights that one off now. Full count. And the knuckle misses, loads the bases. The bases will now be loaded for Mark Campanero with two outs here in the top of the third. Wolfpack not making any pitching changes. Wolfpack had to go to Thomas Playoffs last year who was pitching with his non-dominant hand, but they won't even go to him here. Knuckle misses, ball one. That ball is playable. What a play from Jace Pratt to get out of the inning. Base is loaded jam. And that will keep the score at 9-2. to two. Big score differential, but by no means is this game over. So we're getting ready to start the bottom of the third. Tommy McMahon will step in. And the Wolf Pack are trying to add on to their offensive run total. Unfortunately, in three games so far, they've managed to score only four runs. This Pilots team all sitting defensively in the grass, waiting for Tommy to step in. I wait for him. I, we, uh, yeah. This Pilots lineup on game in, games one and two. And right now in game three, there's seven runs up here in the bottom of the third inning. See if the Wolfpack have anything to say about that. But they've only lost one run, or one game. And it was by one run so far in this 2023 season. Tommy McMahon looks at strike one right down the middle, 0-1. Does well to hold it off. Fights off and Peter, what do you think the keys are to get on base here and try and mount a comeback here for the Wolfpack? Well, the keys are either get hits or get walks, and then that gets you on base. You string a couple of those together and you come around and you score some runs. Notice the, the Wolfpack have been, Wolfpack have been having some issues getting on base here and on, Tommy, let's go. really have been prone to the strikeout here. Now DJ, perennial Cy Young candidate, Mark Campagnolo who has had struggles, they've been swinging a lot of poor pitches. Should have swung at that one. Strike three, be the first out. Wolfpack are now down to their final two outs. Thomas Blayhouse had that home run in game one, it was the first at bat of the game. And he had the highlight catch in game two. Let's see what he has. Game three. Ow. Ball one hits Thomas. One on one. Don't know if I like that angle, a little too close to Thomas. See his creepy mustache. It'll be a walk to Thomas Blayhouse. He is aboard. And honestly, if you're the Wolf Pack, looks like Mark's getting a little more wild here later in the game. It's only way to mount a comeback is get on base. You might need to settle down and take some pitches. Oh, you got three? Yeah. One out now for Alex Harden, who is responsible for the only two runs the Wolfpack have in game three with that two run shot off Mark Campanero. Again? Oh, no, never mind. Oh, okay. well, you already saw that, but yeah. <laughs> Alex's average is a little bit down this year, but his home runs are consistently towards the top of the league. He looks at a ball inside. A 
Lays off that again, 2-0. and oh. That is a firm fastball there, 2-1. and one. That's a hard hit ball. Keaton throws to first, he does not get him. Beat him by a step. Was not. And even when I give a play to the Wolfpack, they still are chirping at us. It's weird. It's like they almost don't want us to give them. I mean, he's safe. I mean, yeah, I don't know what, what they want us to do. They yeah. want us to be. You Our know. bad. We'll call you out next time. Looks at ball one. Everyone wants us to call, you know, plays in our in their favor. We do. That's not how this game works. Chase swinging at some balls That's not there. How this works. It's not how any of this works. Why are they hating on us? They hate us because they ain't us. It's just brutal. And the funny part is usually the the guys that have been up in the booth and know what it's like to get yeah, chirped at. For out. real. <laughs> I know Alex is up here yeah. last week, so. And Mark. Yeah. 3 1 count. Just misses, and that'll be bases loaded. And after a walk, base hit, and a walk, the bases are now loaded for Tommy McMahon in a big spot. We'll see if he can help his team out. Maybe not the debut Tommy wanted, but he's consistently put in positions to turn his day around. Base is loaded, one out. And that ball is playable, caught. And Thomas, who left a little early, thought about going, but doesn't. And now Thomas will step up. Last chance for the Wolf Pack here. And that is right down the middle. Oh, one. Outside, Mark's been very good at pounding the zone early in the count and then kind of staying away from those pitches right down the middle towards the end, getting people to chase. A rare swing and miss for Thomas Blayhouse, one and two. Thomas does well to lay off the ball. Two and two. Mark has had a heavy dose of those sinkers here today. Thomas Blayhouse strikes out, and that will end the game. The Pilots sweep the Wolf Pack. 9 2 in game number three, and that'll do it here on this Memorial Day. Thank you for joining. Tune in for Wednesday to see the Northern Nighthawks take on the Southern Stingers. Peter and I will be playing. So should be interesting, a matchup of the 2020 World Series. Oh, yeah, we're going back to that. That's right. Both, both teams have a World Series win, and I think we might throw it down to Brock Blayhouse after we thought we would never let him. So we never thought we'd have to. Here another interview from Thomas. You see the Wolfpack working on their game, their craft right now. All right, see you guys. Brock Blaus is back out there looking for an interview victim. We'll send it now down to Brock Playhouse. <laughs> Brock, who are you with? Hello. Yeah, winner, winning team. He's by himself. We don't have an interviewee. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. All right, we've got uh, DJ Oliver out here. DJ, how do you feel about the win? Pretty good. All right, next question. What's your social security? 
it's written in my yeah. Next question. <laughs> if you were a tree, what type would you be? Deciduous. <laughs> Next question. Is a burger a sandwich? Yeah. <laughs> Is a hot dog a sandwich? Yeah. Would you consider a hot dog a taco? No. Why not? No tortilla. Okay. Back to you, Jack. Thank you, Brock, for that electric interview. <laughs> Let us know if you want some more of those interviews from Brock Blayhouse. But that'll be it. We'll see you on Wednesday. Nighthawks, Southern Stingers. Thank you, everyone, and good night. Like five series.